Hi, it's Paul here. I'm going to show you how to do some rig removal in Stop Motion Pro version 8. Alright, I've been shooting a little bit of animation here and it's just the two little uh, armatures here having a, a discussion. One tricks the other. And there's a little moment here where the armature jumped up. And I'll just step back through the sequence there and you'll be able to see pr even more clearly. There's a a little bit of wire there that's helping the armature fly off the ground. What I want to do is remove that wire so it looks like the puppet's flying. So that's surprisingly easy to do. Uh, what I'll do, I'll find the first frame with the rig in it that I want to remove. I come into the tools menu here and choose rig removal. Right in this uh, case here I'm getting a very large frame. I'll just resize it here so you can see what's happening easier. Uh, I'm shooting with a Canon DSLR, so it's it's a very big picture. So what I'll do is change that to best fit, and that'll squeeze the image down to a size that I can see on screen. All right, what I need to do is find my background plate, and the background plate. I'll just click on the drop-down menu here. The background plate is the frame I'm going to use to cut through and make transparent, and I can use the little counter here to go through my frames, the little spinner. And in this case, I'm going to choose this frame where there's nothing in it. I'm also going to make sure I'm choosing my stored plus full resolution frames because I want to export my animation here. Then I'm going to choose the brush size. Look, I'll, I'll try this and see how it see how it goes for now. All right, that's pretty good. So now what I'm doing is I'm cutting through that frame <coughs> and revealing the one underneath it. Now it wouldn't matter if I had something quite detailed in the background. I've got just a white background here, luckily. But even if that was a detailed background, it would cut through to this frame that I'd taken which had nothing in it and reveal the background. Do I want to save changes as I click to the next frame? I'll say yes. Alright, now I'll just go through and do this again to each frame. It's a bit like magic, it's quite exciting when you do it. Right, that's okay. Do I want to save changes? I'll click yes. And the next frame comes in. Now while I'm doing this, under the hood, Stop Motion Pro is saving these the original frames and they're in the editor and they're just hidden. So the, the master frame, the original frame, is kept. It's just hidden. So if you want to reinstate it, you can do it uh, again uh, later in another software package if you want to do it a bit more cleanly or a, bit, uh, a little better. But if you want to just see how it's working while you're, while you're filming, this is a great technique. Uh, I'll stick through next. Oh, I think that might be the last frame. It is. Okay. All right. So, I've done it. I've removed that rig out of those frames. I'm going to click close now. To see the changes, select stored frames on the view menu. That's important and we'll see why in a moment. Uh, you can see here I'm looking at the, under the view menu, I'm looking at the video assist frames. Now I, I didn't edit those. So the, so the wire is still there. And that's the video assist frames which is from the live view in the camera. Okay, and those, those frames are all still there. I'll just zoom in on the animation a little to make it easier to see. There we are. So now I can step through those frames, and yes, the, the rig's still there. However, if I go to the View menu and choose Stored Frames, I'm looking at those high-quality frames, and they're also the frames that I removed the rig on. So I'll just jump back to the start of my frame there with my go back to the start of the frame uh, shortcut key. I'm going to press Play, and we'll have a look at the animation now. Coming up. Here it goes. Oh, there we are. Great. Okay, well, there you are. You get a good idea of how you can pretty quickly remove a rig and get a look at how your animation's uh, running. And uh, yeah, yeah, it's very easy with Stop Motion Pro version 8. Thanks for watching.